Welcome to Color Pencil Artist. My name is Jay Harmon, and today what I'm going to do is to describe some of my artwork to you, give you a little background, and tell you a little bit about how I achieve the uh, results that I get from my artwork. And if you uh, look directly behind me, I'm starting with, uh, with a picture that I commissioned um, a couple years ago. And this one, if you're familiar with the Rat Pack, this is uh, a picture of them. This was done in graphite, okay? This is done in graphite pencil, and uh, which means black and white, uh, black on a white background, okay? There was, uh, this one isn't colored pencil, it was uh, actually graphite, but uh, I tried in this one, I worked from, uh, from a photograph of the three gentlemen you see there was uh, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Frank Sinatra, and they were all members of the, uh, what their name was, the Rat Pack, and they were all singers and entertainers uh, for you youngsters out there who uh, may not know who they are, and they were uh, very talented, and um, so I made this picture uh, as a commission, and as I said, it's all done, it's all done in pencil. Um, okay, next picture. We have the next picture? Okay, this one, let me uh, see which way I gotta go. Okay, I'll get out of the way a little bit here. This, uh, this picture, uh, which way am I going? I'm going backwards. Okay, there we are. Um, this picture is, uh, of John Lennon and this was done in another style that I've uh, worked in it's uh, kind of an abstract linear style where I've taken the picture and just kind of uh, the person and kind of broken it down and this picture is called John Lennon an interrupted life because if you can see, there's a lot of uh, lines that kind of represent all the different things that happened in his life. And uh, his portrait is there, but it, uh, the portrait isn't complete because if you're familiar with uh, John Lennon's life, he was, um, he was murdered and he never really got to complete everything that I feel he could have done so much more but he was a wonderful uh, musician as part of the Beatles, and uh, he's uh, one of the greats. So I, uh, I wanted to uh, do, a, do a portrait to, uh, to represent him, kind of a tribute to John Lennon. Uh, next picture. Okay, this picture um, was done, this uh, had two parts to it. This is a, a portrait of a McLaren automobile. It was a prototype. And uh, I, I drew it in black and white. And then I worked with, um, with another artist, Mark Dane, who works uh, in acrylics and lighted, uh, lighted acrylic pictures. So I drew the, um, the car, the McLaren, and he took the picture and then he enhanced it, framed it and put acrylic lights on it. And it made kind of a, uh, kind of a rainbow effect. If you, uh, the aura that comes out from it and it really, uh, it really worked well. So this was, uh, this was actually the result of uh, two artists working in collaboration to create, uh, to create one, uh, one picture. Uh, next picture. Okay. This one was one that I was uh, commissioned to do by the uh, pitcher, relief pitcher um, from the New York Yankees, Aroldis Chapman. And he had commissioned me to do this, but he wanted a picture of him in each of the uniforms that he had worn in his career. Um, he had been um, with the, his first one, uh, that he was with was uh, with the Cuban um, National uh, Baseball League. Um, and then the other ones uh, that he had was with the, uh, 
uh, the Cubs and uh, the Cardinals and the Yankees. And so I made him in each of his, uh, each of his uniforms standing on the field together with the, um, with the background, with the, uh, the stadium, which is kind of a generic stadium because we didn't want to really have to represent any particular stadium. But I did there, made the crowd, and this was all done in color pencil. Um, each, of the, uh, each of the people there represents a different portion of uh, Mr. Chapman's life. And he's still with the New York Yankees. And um, so he um, has a print of this picture. And also he has the original picture. And he has uh, the original picture in his uh, training room at home where he does his, uh, his workouts and his exercises. He has it right up uh, where he can see this when he's working as an inspiration for him to, uh, to work on his pictures. And the other uh, copy of it is, uh, is out with his, uh, with his cars that he has out in, uh, at, his, at his home in Florida. Okay, so uh, that was, uh, that was Araldus Chapman. Okay, next picture. Okay, this picture I uh, really enjoyed doing this. This is another one that was done in the style that I did the John Lennon picture. This is called Smokey. Um, this is uh, a picture of Burt Reynolds. Uh, represented from the movie Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, Burt Reynolds was a, uh, a great guy. I've, I've met him three or four times. And uh, he was such, a, such an interesting person. And, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was just, just a regular guy. I mean, he would, he would talk just like anybody else, and he was so funny. He could crack jokes on, uh, on anything. I remember the last time I saw him, I asked him, when are they going to make a Burt Reynolds uh, action figure and he says well if they do it now he says they'll have to do it with a walker and that was that was his uh, that was his remark to that so that was Bert and he was uh, he was very uh, very funny but I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a tribute I wanted to honor Bert and so I uh, I made this uh, this picture I have another picture at home that uh, I did in graphite of him that, uh, that he signed for me. And I have that and that one, uh, that one I keep in my studio. Okay, next, uh, next picture. Okay, these people you may recognize. Uh, this is uh, Dawn and Freddie from the Brooklyn Cafe Show. And uh, this, uh, this picture I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do because uh, I thought that, uh, well, Number one is a kind of a, a tribute to them, and uh, number two, they uh, may be able to use it on their set, which they do. And uh, I, I did this in kind of an abstract style because the, uh, it, it fits. I try to do different pictures uh, in a style that fits uh, the personalities that I'm doing. And this was kind of a fun style, and these are kind of really fun people. So I wanted to uh, make this. I put their logo in the center. And then I, uh, you know, and then I put them uh, there, and uh, you know, Freddie's giving an OK sign, and uh, so this is uh, this is my tribute to Don and Freddie. Okay, next picture. Okay, now this one is one of my uh, pictures that I have done many of these. They are uh, pet portraits. Okay, I've done a lot of uh, pet portraits. And uh, this I can, uh, I can do if anybody is interesting and interested in uh, having a portrait done of their pet. Uh, call uh, here at the station, 1-888-994-4995. And that, uh, that is the, uh, the call-in number. And uh, if you're interested in having a, uh, a picture done a drawing. This is done in color pencil. And uh, I've done many of these. Uh, I've done this one particular one is on a black background. I love to work in, uh, in black backgrounds, but I can do it on any, uh, any color background you like. I can do uh, 
different animals together. I can I do portraits of people with their pets together in one picture, and uh, if that's what uh, if that's what you'd like. And I've done a lot of uh, pet memorials. So if you had a favorite pet, who you'd like to have um, a, a memorial for, I uh, I've done many of those too. So uh, that's another idea. If you're uh, if you're interested in having a pet portrait done, just uh, just let me know. And that's uh, 888-994-4995. And my website is coloredpencilartist.com. And you can go to uh, either of these and, uh, and let me know what you'd like. Okay, now um, the next picture, please. Okay, this is another, uh, another pet portrait. Uh, this one is a, uh, a border collie. And I made this one a little different. I have it like the wind is blowing his hair. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can see that it's, uh, it's not uh, just a, a regular uh, picture. It has atmosphere. It has personality. It has uh, something that I think that uh, people look for in their pet. And I try to bring each uh, picture, the personality of the particular pet, and uh, I try to meet the pet if I can, if not, by several pictures to, uh, to kind of uh, get an idea of the pet's personality. So uh, anyway, these are a couple of the pet portraits. And uh, again, if you'd like to, uh, to have a pet portrait done, it's 888-994-4995. Uh, and now we're going to a commercial break, and I'll be back with some more pictures. Mocha. Jay Harmon captures the essence of really creative and captivating mind. Jay Harmon brings the light into the darkness on majority of his pieces using a negative background to highlight the details of some of his looks. I know some artists use white canvases but he thrives on a black canvas. And here's the kicker, he only uses pencil, colored pencil, graphite pencil, and pencil pencil for his art pieces. Yes, I know it's hard to fathom that these beautiful pieces came from pencil, but yes, they did. And the only way you can experience Jay Harmon is if you come to the gallery of Boca. Jay Harmon, an unconventional artist with a unique story behind every canvas. And welcome back. My name is Jay Harmon, and uh, I'm a colored pencil artist, and I'm here to uh, tell you a little bit about what I do and uh, show you a little bit about my, uh, my artwork and uh, explain a little bit about, uh, about how I achieve the pictures that I do. Um, this is another pet portrait. Uh, this one is, is done, I, uh, I did this uh, well, mainly for myself. This is one that I have in my collection uh, that I wanted to do. I've had uh, two Irish setters, and I love Irish setters, and they're such beautiful animals. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to create a uh, a portrait of uh, of an Irish setter that I had named uh, named Shannon, and this was my uh, my uh, picture for. Shannon and uh, she was a, a beautiful dog and I tried to uh, really uh, establish the uh, you know the personality of uh, of each of the of each of the pets that I do okay next picture next picture okay this one um, is an interesting a uh, picture that uh, I created uh, several of these. I'll be showing you uh, some of these. 
Uh, these I did um, when I was thinking about doing pictures that looked like graffiti, but I uh, wanted to make them uh, that were drawn uh, and they were all made. So I said, well, I'll take it one step further. I'll create the wall, I'll, cre I'll paint on the wall, and I'll have people in front of the wall. And so this will make it a three-dimensional graffiti picture. So uh, if you look at this picture, this is from uh, two album covers by the Beatles. Okay, I'm a, I'm a huge Beatles fan. And uh, I grew up with the Beatles, and I've, uh, you know, and they, uh, like I said, John Lennon was, uh, uh, was one of my favorite artists. And uh, the, uh, the front picture is from the album uh, Abbey Road, in which they were crossing a street together uh, like this. And on the brick wall in behind them is painted uh, four different color heads. And the, the heads are only from the nose up. And uh, that was also from another album cover uh, called A Hard Day's Night. Okay, and they, uh, so I, I combined the two covers, put them together in one, uh, in one tribute uh, to the Beatles. And uh, I, I, have, uh, I have prints of this one available. I have the original picture. I've sold uh, uh, one big print. Somebody uh, wanted a print of this nine feet long. So uh, I made a, it uh, was pretty much a mural. And so I, uh, I did that, enhanced it, and uh, it came out really, really well. So my pictures can also be done into large sizes, very large sizes, wall size. And uh, if, you're, you know, if you're not happy with the size, you like it bigger for a room, I, uh, I can have them printed in, uh, in a size that will fit your, uh, fit your decor. Okay, next picture. This is another wall picture that I did. Um, and uh, this is of uh, an artist, Andy Warhol. And some of you are familiar with Andy Warhol. He, uh, he was kind of uh, a different artist. He had kind of an abstract uh, way about him. In this picture, I have uh, part of a portrait of him on the wall. I have a lot of graffiti on the wall, um, and uh, he, in his, uh, a quote from Andy Warhol I put on the wall, it says, art is what you can get away with. That was a quote from, uh, from Andy Warhol. And uh, I also have Andy Warhol standing in front of the, uh, of the graffiti looking at it. So it's a, it's a three-dimensional uh, look of someone looking at a picture of himself with graffiti on the wall. Okay, next picture. Okay, this one is another uh, artist that uh, some of uh, some of you, uh, well, older people may uh, may recognize. Uh, this was a musician uh, from the Doors, Jim Morrison, and uh, he was uh, he was really big in the pop scene uh, back in the '60s, early '70s. And I have uh, this picture, I have his face painted on a brick wall, and I have a young lady there uh, standing in front of the wall with a spray can. You can see her shadow uh, there in the, uh, in the picture, and she's, uh, she's spray painting the picture onto the wall. And so that, as a, uh, as a mural-sized picture, would look, uh, would look really nice. Okay, next picture. Okay, so uh, now I'm getting into uh, these pictures are uh, sunsets. Okay, sunsets are, I love sunsets. I, I can't say enough about, about sunsets. I spend my, uh, my evenings uh, outside watching sunsets. And, uh, you know, I, um, I like to do uh, this particular this particular picture because I wanted to do a Western kind of uh, um, kind of picture, and so I created a uh, a colorful sunset picture with uh, silhouettes to show the background with uh, with cacti and uh, some tumbleweeds and uh, and some light on the ground, and in the foreground I uh, I did a silhouette of a cowgirl. 
And so this really uh, gives the, uh, the impression of a, of a Western, uh, of a Western sunset on the, on the plains, okay? And uh, that's what, uh, what my idea was for this. So, um, okay, next one. Okay, and this picture uh, is another kind of a moon set. This is the moon over the ocean. And uh, I did a silhouette here of um, two, of a, two people um, embracing each other in front of the, in front of the ocean and uh, under the palm trees and, uh, uh, and the man and the girl is a mermaid and uh, she's out of the water here and it was uh, a little bit different. I wanted something a little bit, uh, something a little bit different to, uh, uh, to show on, uh, uh, on the background. So uh, we, have, uh, we have a silhouette of a mermaid and a silhouette of a, of a young man and, uh, and the moon. And it's, uh, it's really pretty. This would, uh, this would look nice, uh, you know, again, blown up. So uh, anyway, the, um, the pictures, if you, uh, if you see them, I, uh, I love to do horses. Okay, on, on either side of me is uh, uh, our pictures of some of the, of a couple of the horses that I've done. Um, one of them, uh, we can't really see the whole picture, but it's, uh, uh, this one has a, a black horse and a white horse together uh, on, the, uh, on the picture. And there we go. Uh, and they're both jumping in opposite directions and uh, it just, um, to me, kind of uh, signifies the, the beauty and uh, using horses to say that, you know, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, if it's black, if it's white, whatever it is, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And that's what I wanted to express on, uh, on that picture. And uh, on, the, uh, on the other side, I have another, uh, another horse picture that uh, I made here, and this is called Moonlight. And uh, this particular picture I did in colored pencil, as I do most of my pictures. And uh, this one, I just wanted to uh, show, the, uh, show the light. This is a, uh, an art form called chiaroscuro, which is an, an Italian art form. And it uh, comes from, uh, from having a picture from one light source. Uh, the, the light is shining on onto the horse from just one light source with a black background. A lot of the old masters use this, uh, use this, particular, uh, this particular style. And uh, so this, uh, this is one I love to work in this. Uh, as you'll see with, uh, you know, if you come into the studio here at, uh, in, uh, in Bulgaritone 2400 uh, Southwest, uh, Northwest, uh, 2nd Avenue, and uh, in Boca Raton, you can see a lot of my uh, artwork, and a lot of it is, uh, you know, is black on white, and that's uh, or black background with white uh, uh, shades of white, shades of gray, and I like to work in uh, in that style. That's what I'm doing uh, now. I do a lot of my pictures, large pictures, and uh, so we. Uh, I'd like you to, uh, you know, get in touch with me. If you'd like to have uh, your artwork done, either come by the studio or uh, you can call 1-888-994-4995. Uh, and you can contact me at coloredpencilartist.com. And uh, I have, uh, you know, anything that... Uh, you're interested in, if you'd like to have, uh, have something commissioned, if you'd like to have a family portrait, if you have a celebrity that you, uh, that you like, if you like a particular animal, uh, whatever you'd like to have done, any, any ideas, we can talk about it, however you'd like to have it, and uh, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to create an original picture for you. So, um, so I think that, uh, you know, I uh, enjoy talking to you and we will, be, uh, we will be back probably next week and, uh, you know, we'll have, uh, have a guest. And uh, so I think that, 
uh, in the meantime, you know, just uh, do what you can and be safe and enjoy art. <laughs>